right, so this is the timer for the dry bilge. Um, and this timer was actually installed in this boat. As you can see, it's in the, the little helm area. And so he had this in here, and I don't know what he had it in here for, but this is the exact type of timer that you need. I bought another one, but it was exactly like this before I noticed that he had one in here. Obviously, it's been cut out and then mounted in there from the back side and already had power run to it. And there's some programming on there, and you can have up to like 16 start and stop times. It's a little bit convoluted to uh, program, but it does work. And then you can also um, have manual off and manual on and then auto. I think this is the on. So I just came down here, and the bilge has got a little bit of water in it because I had this thing off, and it had rained recently. And we get a little bit of fresh water on from our rails. So I'm going to turn it on. I think it's this one. Nope, that's this one. Nope, maybe this one. Maybe that one. Maybe that one. It ain't running. I have to re Hold on. Okay, I had the switch wrong. It's been a while since I turned this on, but you go to I, and you can hear the bilge running. And as some people said, it is a little noisy. But when you close this hatch, which I got to redo the soundproofing on, when you close this hatch, it uh, it's you barely barely hear it. You can you can actually miss the fact that it's uh, on. So let me go down here. So there's the pump. All right, and then there, back there, is, you can see the pickup. Now that pickup is just a, a plastic box that I got at Home Depot, and I cut some notches in the edges, and then put a big giant sponge in it, and then I glued two lead weights on it to keep it seated. And then as you see, um, there's a fitting at the top, so... The big thing is to keep that fitting uh, airtight, so that way it sucks water and not air. It's got to be airtight. So right now it's sitting in that last half inch of water, and like I said in the post, my bilge is very wide and long. So now, and again, there's the pump mounted a little low, but I found that when you mount the pump low the performance improves a ton because the vacuum is what's operating this and you know once it gets to the pump pumping it under pressure up higher is much easier than trying to use vacuum to get it um, to bring it up uh, so the lower the pump the better as long as it's going to be out of the water now I don't know if you can tell but that pump is about a foot at least a foot above the water or uh, where the, the bottom of the bill, I guess you'd say. So, as a matter of fact, you can see that that thing is actually already taking the water down. Right? Takes no time at all. So, and this thing's been in here, I don't know, a while. So, uh, it's already dirty. I still have to paint my bilge. So, I have it about a foot above where the bilge is. Uh, and that seems to work very good, but it's it's high enough to where, you know, uh, water should never reach it unless it's some kind of emergency. But I got bigger pumps for that. You know, this is just to keep the bilge fairly dry. So then that hose right there goes right into there, which is actually my shower sump in this little old Taiwanese trawler. And this is my shower sump drain that goes to the shower right above it. And then this is the AC condensate that goes into the same fiberglass tank. And this tank is probably probably around 20 gallons. It's pretty big. It's probably uh, 20 inches wide, probably 15 inches tall, and it's it's got to be probably 20 inches deep as well. So it's, it's pretty big. Um, and then, of course, in there is a pump with a float switch. So as the, uh, you know, this tank fills up, uh, when it gets about a gallon or two in there, it just begins to pump it out. It works pretty good. 
and it seems to work pretty seamlessly. So that's pretty much it. Interior is a lot better than the rest of the boat. Interior motor and tanks and drive line. So <laughs> now lighting, working on the lighting. Alright, closet's in work. There's a new window. Um, this is that Home Depot textured stuff. And this is only like set in place and being held in with glue or 5200 and then screws there uh, from the inside and the outside. And that window I had to cut it a little bit, but it's much better than the old one. So we got a lot of cleaning and uh, taping and recalking on some areas. So but for now, for tonight, it's in and it's waterproof. So far, so good.